Partitude 1 is actually called siltacel or siltacaptogene autolucyl, and it's actually a chimeric antigen receptor T-cell therapy, meaning it's a CAR-T therapy for BCMA target. And these patients that were treated on this study were heavily pretreated. If you've had at least three or more prior lines of therapy, if you had progression of disease, you had agents such as a proteasome inhibitor or a um, an immunomodulator agent like rebelmid or pomalidomide or an anti-CD38 agent, then you'd be eligible to go on the study. And you can see a lot of these patients on the study had at least six prior therapies. And what we really found on the CARTITUDE study is that the overall response rate, despite having this heavily pre-treated patient population, was 97%, with 67% um, of these patients actually going into a stringent complete remission. Another interesting thing we found is at the time of data cutoff, we looked at these patients for about 12.4 months, and we saw that at that time, 70 of these patients out of the 97 patients who were treated on this study are still having responses that are ongoing. And then we always think, well, is it going to really affect my progression-free survival? What's going to change because of this therapy? We saw that the 12-month overall PFS is still not reached. So we know all these patients who are heavily pretreated are living at least a year with this therapy or even longer, and we're still waiting to figure out what duration of response this study is going to provide for us. So in the end, what we really saw with Cartitude is that it's a safe drug that we can give to our patients who are heavily pretreated, and we're seeing really good response rate with hopefully a median PFS that's much longer than 12 months.